What's up, Whistlers? It's Lexi, and welcome back to another episode. I am so grateful that you are here, and I can't wait to chit chat a little bit about the different moon phases and how to work with the energy of Mama Moon. So, starting off, we have a big month in October. We had the full moon at the beginning of the year. And we also have a blue moon to end October on Halloween, on the Saturday of Halloween. So this is huge. And I have already been planning um, what I'm going to be doing, intention setting spell, um, and I won't be going out and dressing up. Um, be very cautious if you are doing that this year. Just... I encourage you to take time to go into your inner world and work with the energy of the full moon and I'll tell you why. So, starting off with the new moon. This is when the moon is at its darkest. You can't see any part of the moon. It is new, it is fresh, it is all of this unmanifested potential, right? We want to think of the word potential. So the new moon is a great time for setting new intentions for the next moon cycle, for the next amount of days. I think it's usually 30. Yes. Setting new intentions for the moon cycle coming up so that you can be very clear on what you are creating this month, this cycle. So new moon is about new beginnings. Um, you may want to focus on if you are getting a new job or looking to get new clients, working with the new moon to create that energy. Um, relationships, if you are looking to find new friendships or find love, then working with the new moon to cultivate that newness and first focusing on yourself, your relationship with yourself, and putting that intention in with the new moon. It's kind of like placing an order with the universe, like, hey new moon, I know you have new fresh energy. This is the type of new fresh energy that I would like in my life. So let's go ahead and work together on that. Fresh starts, setting new intentions, and also cleansing because it's new, it's this brilliant new energy. I love to give my house a fresh zhuzh, a good clean. I like to really give myself the self-care, my body, the self-love and the self-care that it requires. I might put some coconut oil with lavender on, just feeling really extra fresh. Whatever I need to do to do that in my life, um, cleaning out my room, maybe donating some items, just feeling into that fresh energy for the new moon. Next, we have the waxing moon or the crescent moon. This is the second phase of the moon when the moon is starting to come more into visibility. So now we have half a moon and we are looking at growth. We are looking at, okay, what are we cultivating? What is growing now? What is coming into our manifested world, our reality? We're thinking about development. We're thinking about what we are cultivating. We're also looking at our own evolution. So the intention that you set at the beginning of the month, are you coming into development with this intention? Are you still aligned? Asking that question. We are looking at what we are manifesting in our life um, in this material world. The crescent moon is about our earthly possessions, what we're having here, um, advancement in our own lives because we're not here just to sit on a rock and hope for the best. We are working with the universe to create, to advance, to have this beautiful experience. And part of that is taking action on the goals that you have set for yourself. So planning, this is a great time to do more planning for the rest of the month. So the, those intentions, the new moon is like you get to let your head be in the clouds. You get to let your head spin around, spin around, see what you pull down. 
what you would like to bring into this world. And then the crescent moon is like, how are we doing? It's like, are we doing the things that we said we would do? Are we sticking with it? Are we growing? Are we sticking to our plan? Are we um, still going along with our potential? Don't forget what you set intentions, what intentions you set in the beginning because when the crescent moon comes around, it's a good reminder of, hey, are we still here? Are we still on this journey? <laughs> Do we want to reframe? Great time for reframing. Totally okay. All right. So next we have the beautiful big full moon. When we are in full moon energy, this is a great time to look at what abundance we have in our life. Look at what we have already manifested. Look at the journey that we are making from the new moon to the full moon and if we are still doing exactly what our heart um, desires. It's about illumination. It's big bright full moon in the sky. This adds power to whatever you're creating. So if you're working with spells or if you're working on manifesting or if you're working on growing your energy, growing your potential, then working with the full moon is beautiful. Uh, it brings about a lot of emotions as well because this beautiful big full moon has the energy that pulls on the water pulls on the tides and it pulls on the tides within us it pulls our watery emotions out so you may be more emotional around the full moon i have a friend who um knows that there is a pattern where she does not sleep well around the full moon so take a look at how the moon affects your day-to-day -day life if you're feeling more emotional if you're feeling more um energy at night then you don't have to blame yourself, you can just blame the moon <laughs> in the best way. Uh, look at what goals you have been bringing to fruition and keep going on them. Evaluate them, see if there's any replanning that you have to do, revising, and keep going. Um, and also, is a great time to charge your items, so put your crystals out in the full moonlight how to make and use moon water. That's on the podcast as well, Why She Whistles podcast. And last but not least, we have the waning moon, which now we went from this big full moon and now we are closing back up. So this is about removal and ejection. Like if there's something that you want to get rid of, around the waning moon, um, this is a great time to look at what habits you're trying to release. It's a great time for releasing. So also those big emotions that came up with the full moon, this waning moon is a great time for you to let go of what these are. Let go of these big emotions. Let go of maybe grudges that you're holding. Do a lot of journaling through your thoughts and what you would like to release. This is also a great time to reflect. How did the month go? How are you setting yourself up, your big vision up for success? Did you enjoy this month? Did you have some downfalls? Are there things that you would like to change for the next month to come? The waning moon is a beautiful time to release all your expectations of yourself too and just to tap into love, your own inner potential, and um, who you are at your core. You can release all of these different standards that people have of you, your beauty standards, your success standards, whatever that looks like, standards that you are trying to live up to but you just don't feel like they are serving you. This is a great time to reflect on what you would like to release. So we have the new moon, we have the waxing or the crescent moon, we have the full moon, and we have the waning moon, and all of these carry different energies. You can make moon water for each and every one of these. If you are a person who uses, um, who tends to need more of that release, then I suggest filling up a glass bottle 
with some water. You can you can be straight from your tap. It can be from a stream, a lake, whatever. Um, set it out with the waning moon or whatever moon phase you relate to the most and use that water that has been charged by the moon in your day-to-day -day activities. I like to fill up my jugs with um, full moon water and take a little dab on my finger and just give my third eye a little full moon water love. That seems to help me with intuition. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing how you work with the moon. Please leave me a comment if you found this video helpful. If there's anything that you would like to add, just give me a comment below and um, I look forward to our next chat. Until then, go spread love, peace, and positivity. Peace out, whistlers.